Uh, a very hard fought game. And, uh, you know, I'd like to give, uh, first of all, thank our fans uh, and our students and parents of our players and, and all of our boosters that made it a, a special game environment. It, it really was. And uh, that means a lot. It means a lot to not me, to the players. Um, obviously, as a coach, you'd love to have that kind of crowd. And uh, thank you for that. Uh, as far as the game went, you know, I'm proud of uh, the way we fought. <clears throat> And uh, didn't make enough plays, obviously, to win the game. And offensively, they had a lot of big plays that hurt us, uh, particularly uh, on some deep balls. And uh, you know, we had a, a couple opportunities there to swing the momentum back, and the offense kept playing. And, and uh, Naheem's return was a great play. <clears throat> and it was a good back and forth game. And uh, I'm proud of the guys for continuing the battle and fight. You know, Matt Days got hurt. and, and uh, so, you know, our, our tailback situation changed, and Jay Sam was back there, and Dequay Nichols played back there, and, and rotating guys, David Greenwich made some really nice catches. You see guys straining and fighting, and so emotional losses like that, big games, you know, you hate, uh, hate for the kids to, to be down like that. But I am proud of not only how they prepared, but uh, how they came out to play against a really good opponent. A lot of things obviously we need to, to do better and that's what we're going to try to do and uh, I'll do everything I can to help these guys improve. Um, I have not seen uh, whatever happened on our sideline but I do know um, one of our assistants got emotional and after the game he apologized to their coaches and to the player involved and uh, as far as I know everything's been uh, settled that way. I haven't seen it don't know much about it, but he did come up and tell me that he apologized to their staff and, and to uh, Deshaun, I think it was. But, you know, it was a heat of the battle moment, unfortunate, and, you know, I think he handled it the right way. I'm not going to comment on it because I haven't seen it. But uh, other than that, <clears throat> anytime you play uh, the way we played in that game, I mean, the guys just kept playing and fighting and scratching, and, and I thought our coaches uh, we're aggressive. You know, Clemson's a really good football team. And uh, we gave ourselves a chance to win. We did. And I think not many people have done that against them. Some have. But for us, it was a special night. But we didn't get a feel the victory. And uh, we've got to find a way to make a few more plays. And again, we're getting some balls out and not recovering all of them. We did get a couple takeaways uh, in the second half, but I uh, need to get a few more. So. A lot of film to look at and get ready for a very physical game next week. Questions? The sequence at the end of the first half, um, you had the, the – I think it's the play where Days got hurt. Okay. And then the missed field goal, and then they hit the two shots and scored quick there. Did you yeah. – did it feel like that you recovered from that sequence? That we recovered? Yeah. Well, I mean, we came out and got a three and out to start the half on defense, which I thought was good, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, obviously disappointed in the two deep balls and, you know, the, the missed field goals are, are frustrating because he's kicking it so good in practice and, and in pregame. So, you know, we just got to keep uh, being patient. And it's not the NFL where you go out on the waiver wire and find somebody and, you know, it doesn't work that way. He's a kid that can kick the football and – I'm not going to turn my back on him. I need to be positive with him, and, and I'm going to continue to do that. And, but, you know, the onside kicks, I mean, we almost got one of those. And to answer your question, I never felt like the game got away from us. I mean, we played hard until the end of the game. Do you have an update on days? Is that something more? Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, it was a toe injury. And they're going to have to do, you know, the x-rays and all those kind of things to see where it is. Hopefully it's like Jay Sam's was. And, so this need a few days, but I, I don't know the answer yet. Dave, can you you look at the game last year against this team, and then you compare it to this year? Can you look at that just with the naked eye, without having to look at the film, and, and kind of get a feel for how much you progressed, or is it still too early for that? Well, we didn't give ourselves uh, a chance to even win the game last year. You know, I mean that was a full quarter game tonight, and. Uh, there's a lot of great plays made on both sides of the football. It went down to the wire, and last year wasn't that way. I mean, we didn't make plays. We weren't in the game. We were flat from start to finish. So there's a lot of things you can say are better than, than there were in that game a year ago. Do you just 
tip your hat to Watson, the plays that he made, or did you see anything, any kind of thread in some of the plays that he was able to get on you? Well, he threw the ball well at times. Um, guy's a really good quarterback. I mean, I think everybody knows that. You know, and, and last year he probably would have had a heck of a year had he not been hurt so much. You know, I mean, in our game he was unbeatable last year when we played him. But I think he's a really special player. He was coming out of high school, and he has been every time he's been healthy down there. And he's got good targets and skill, and you know everybody knows what their recruiting classes have been like. They got a good team. They really do. And uh, you know, I would have said you know, if we score 41 points tonight, we'd have a chance to win the game. And you know, we just gave him too much. We did, and I know there's, um, you know, some down kids because of it because they know that they prepared really hard to win that football game. Is there anything in particular with Greenwich that he seemed to come out of the witness protection program tonight? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was great to see him make some plays and. Uh, you know, I think I've said it a, a ton. I mean, he's been in there on several pass plays where he's been covered and he's been in there in some where he's been open and we've missed him. And um, last week he was wide open on a dig that Jacoby underthrew and we tried to get him the football there. Tonight he did a heck of a job. I'm proud of him. He had seven catches. I mean, our tight ends, if you look at tonight, they had 15 catches between Jay Sam and, and uh, David Greenwich. So pretty productive night at that position. And. Uh, David was a big part of that, obviously, with seven of those. Jay Sam at eight. And, uh, I don't know. Anything else? Appreciate it. Thank you.